What is up you guys, Matt from my process and guys today um, I want to talk to you guys about um, just the, what I learned from the first um, shoe that I ever resold. Um, the shoe that I'm talking about that, that I'm talking about in this video is actually not the Jordan 1 uh, bread toes that I was talking about in the last video because um, like I said I already sold those um, and I can, I'll maybe, maybe talk about that in another video but today I want to talk about my first ever shoe that I ever resold in my entire life um, and this happened in this happened in I think mid uh, mid December maybe like the very very end of the year last year, um, and like you know and, and this shoe really really meant a lot to me because you know this is my first shoe um, that I ever resold and I, and I got a ton of lessons you know out of just going through the whole process of you know getting the shoe and then selling the shoe and then you know talking with the buyer and all you know that whole process of having to sell the shoe and I learned a lot from it I'm sure you guys will learn a lot from this as well. Um, about you know not only about shoe resign but also just about you know some some life things that you guys can take um, you know even if you're not doing shoe resign so the shoe uh, that I actually was trying to go for in in in, um, in late December it was called the it was a it was a collaboration between Kith and and LeBron James like he has his own shoe line or whatever LeBron James does um, it was Kith collaborating with LeBron and um, it was on and it dropped on December 30th the thing that was really interesting was that. Um, December 30th is actually LeBron James's birthday. So, you know, basically that was like his birthday shoe or that like he was dropping. It was really, really cool. The thing about the shoe, and I'll show you guys a picture of it. There's two, there's two colorways. One was like a pinkish, it was like a rose gold, and the other one was like a black and a gray. And, and, and something really cool about the shoe is that it has like these little wraps around it. And I'll, again, I'll show you it. They have these little wraps around it, and around it it says, Long Live the King. Um, so like I, you know, saying that the king is like LeBron James, and it was his birthday, so it's another year of being the king of uh, basketball or whatever. It was a really cool concept and really very interesting, and um, and a lot of people said that this is gonna be a pretty good shoe, you know, to buy and maybe even resell for, you know, nothing too crazy, like maybe like fifty, like forty, fifty dollars or something like that. Um, basically, what they were doing is on December thirtieth, they were dropping it right on midnight. Right at midnight, they were dropping the shoe. Um, and something interesting was I was actually in California at the time, seeing my relatives. Um, just being there for the Christmas and New Year's and stuff like that. But the thing is about California is they're three hours behind, you know, Eastern time, and that's kind of where Nike is, is on the Eastern side. They drop their shoes on Eastern time zones, um, so that's why they dropped it at 12 uh, at at 12 a.m. at midnight. So I actually had to get the shoe at 9 p.m. instead of 12. You know, that was a really really cool experience. You know, from what I remember, I think they had a limited amount, you know, of this shoe. Obviously, they they didn't do it for general release. Like you won't see this shoe like you know at your local Dicks or your local Academy. Or this is a this is a limited shoe. Um, and I mean, I honestly like like I said, the reason why it was only reselling for like 40, 50 dollars was because this, is a, this was a little bit more of a um, of a of a bigger release. They they made more of the shoe, meaning you know that the resale you know wasn't as big. So what happened was uh, me and my brother he wanted to help me out. Um, you know, we were both there. He wanted to help me out and get the shoe. Uh, me and my brother were at, were at both of our computers. 9 p.m. hits. We refreshed the page um, on um, on Nike, and then we basically like, you know. We, you know, press the shoe, we press add to the cart, you know, put in our size, we put in our information like super, super quickly and we add it to the cart um, and we add, you know, and we, we check out and like, it, and then it works, you know, we, we get the shoe and it says like, you know, order complete, like you got the shoe and we're like, me and my brother, we were like freaking out, like we were super happy, like we were a little scared because we didn't know if we got the right shoe or, you know, stuff like that because this is our first shoe ever, like this is, you know, this is the first time we've ever gotten a shoe so we didn't know like, you know, what all these different like messages were saying that you got the shoe and stuff like that, like we didn't really know what that meant and whatnot, like I didn't know if I got the shoe or if, you know, it was in my cart still or, you know what I'm saying, like I, I was just super confused but I was also really really excited because I thought that you know I got the shoe and stuff um so so you know it turns out that you know they actually sent us the confirmation email that we got the shoe um and you know that was a great uh, and that was super super awesome so basically you know so me and my brother we got the shoe together you know that was a great experience as well and once we got the shoe you know I, I kind of waited until I came back to Jacksonville which is where I live and, and, and from there I didn't want to sell it I didn't want to sell it on eBay yet or I didn't want to post on eBay yet because I didn't have it in my hand the thing about these shoes is that you know they kind of die off quickly like the hype starts dying down meaning that the resale prices actually start dying down as well so you know you may see like you know I, I may have bought the shoe for like 250 or whatever and at the very very beginning like right when I dropped it might have you know it, it might have um, the resale price might have been like three you know maybe like yeah uh, three to three twenty five maybe even three fifty um, and then you know once you know once you start waiting a couple more days the hype starts getting lost 
um, and you know, not as many people are interested in the shoe. So basically, you know, uh, I waited a couple days. I, I probably waited a week because I didn't get home. Um, I didn't get home until like you know January like fourth or whatever. So you know, and 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 by that time, like you know, I still had to wait another two days um, to get my shoe. So I didn't really get the shoe until like January sixth or seventh. So by that time, the resale price was at like. It was ranging at like 300, you know, maybe even like 310, like 310, 300, like around that. And I bought the shoe for 270 um, for retail price, you know, along with tax um, and stuff like that. So then basically, you know, I get the shoe and I'm like, oh man, like, you know, I could have sold it at, you know, three, um, I could have sold it at like 350 and then just said to my buyer, like, hey, you know, I'm getting the shoes in like a week. Can you just like hold on for a second? You know what I'm saying? So that was a, a big lesson that I learned from that. Yes, for next time, right when I get the confirmation email that I get the shoe, you know, I can immediately post on eBay or on like any of the um, platforms, you know, that I use to sell my shoes or whatever because... Um, I know that it's gonna be coming in, and if I just you know communicate with that with my buyer, they'll be like, oh okay, yeah, sure, you know, just send it to me, you know, whenever you get them. Um, so that was probably one of the bigger mistakes that I made, um, you know, on my first you know shoe reselling thing, um, is that I waited too long, um, or I waited until I actually got the shoe to sell the shoe. Um, so that was one of the things, and then you know, so basically I get the shoes and they're absolutely awesome. So I put them on my eBay. Um, you know, I put them out there, and I, I'm looking at the other prices because you always want to compare, you know, your price to others so that you know you're not going way too high or you're not going way too low. Um, so you can get like right in the right in the spot where most people are selling it at, maybe at, maybe even a little bit lower, so you can kind of so your price can be competitive. I had to like look at the market and like what, what was available and things that and the different prices and stuff like that. So. Um, I basically, you know, created my eBay post, or I, ba I was selling my shoes on eBay. So I looked at other people and like what they were doing, not only the price, but I was also looking at like, what kind of titles they were having. You know, what what this what was in the descriptions of each of uh, of of their posts on eBay and stuff like that. So you know, I was really learning from other people by doing this. Um, and that really taught me a lot about, you know, how to post something on eBay quickly so that, you know, so I'm, I'm not spending like hours and hours like, you know, doing the right, you know, doing unnecessary things that, you know, won't actually help me um, get a sale, you know, for my shoe or whatever. So I learned a lot about that through looking at other people doing it um, and looking at, you know, other people who have, who have already sold it. You know, you can go to completed listings on eBay and look at people who have already sold um, their shoe and look at their price and look at their title and look at their description and their pictures. So you can kind of replicate that in your own post for when you're selling the shoe and use that knowledge to hopefully get someone to, you know, buy your shoe for, you know, that resold price or whatever. So um, basically, I post on eBay and, you know, I'm, I'm getting views and stuff like that. You can, like, check the amount of people that can go on that page. I mean, I was getting views and stuff, but no one was really like messaging me. It was even like no one was even like trying to buy it or anything like that. They were only viewing it. So I mean, it's good that they were viewing it, meaning that like I had a good title and stuff like that. But you know, something about the shoe you know was wrong or something like that. So I, uh, because initially I had posted the shoe for like three hundred thirty dollars, and that price of three hundred thirty dollars for that shoe was a little bit on the higher end um, for you know what everyone else was selling that same shoe for in the same size. Um, so, you know, I was getting these views and stuff like that, but, you know, no one was buying, so I decided to, you know, lower down the price, like, 315. Um, you know, so then, you know, I was still getting views and no one really bought it, so then I lowered it to 300. Um, and then, you know, and then I started getting a little bit more views, and I got someone who messaged me, and he was, like, counter-offered my, um, that 300 that I was selling my shoe for, and he was like, okay, I'll buy it for 200. So to me, like, this was a joke, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would basically be losing, like, $70 from this. Like, I'm not even going to take it seriously. But, I, I mean, I go ahead, I, I mean, I went ahead and, like, counted off for him to, like, um, to two, like, to, to, like, 275 or something like that. Um, and he was, and, and I was like, hey, bro, um, you know, like, I'm really trying to make some sort of profit from this or just, you know, break even, um, you know, so is this, like, a price that we can kind of work with? Um, and he was like, yeah, sure, you know, let's do 275 So I was like, oh, okay, great. So then... Um, I started like running the numbers and like you know the profit that I would make and I, and if you actually do the numbers you know with shipping and with all the other stuff I would actually be losing money and I was really not trying to lose money I was trying to you know at least break even or maybe even make like five ten fifteen dollars like I don't even care like this is my first ever shoe um, so I was like hey, like bro like do you think that you know like we can kind of change the price to two eighty five um, and you can also pay for shipping so it's like around two ninety five is like the price um, like, I was like I really really want you to be able to have these shoes these are awesome shoes and stuff. Um, but you know, I just I I would be losing money from this if I um, you know if I did that price. So um, and he was like he was like oh okay sure you know let's let's do that. And he this guy's like super nice and stuff like that. He was asking me questions about the shoe. So you know I was super super pleased. And, and this guy was like really really nice throughout this whole process. And I thanked him. 
Um, and basically, so yeah, guys, I sold the shoes. And it was absolutely amazing. I got the shoes. I sent them to the post office. It was a really, really good feeling, like having the post office, like wrapping it all up and then sending it to the guy, uh, sending it to the guy and stuff. So, um, guys, like I just want to talk to you guys about, you know, you know. Just my first ever shoe resale um, because the Jordan One bread toes, you know, that, that was actually my second resold shoe that I got. Um, but the, uh, but the ones I'm talking about, the Kith LeBron, um, Long Live the King shoes, you know, those were my uh, those were my first ever shoe that I ever resold. Um, and it's so funny, guys. Like you know, it's really funny to think about. Like I really. Um, you know, didn't profit at all. You know what I'm saying? I think I got maybe like five, ten bucks out of this. And it was like, you know, nothing, like nothing too big, but like just that satisfaction of being able to go through this whole process of, you know, going, um, like getting the shoe and, you know, with my brother and stuff like that. And then, you know, waiting for it to come in and, and whatnot. And then I finally, you know, um, get some messages on my eBay and stuff like that. And I send it out to the guy and, you know, I'm saying, so I just that feeling of, of of accomplishment of being able to sell a shoe no matter how much profit and no matter no matter how much I lost or how much I made from it I know it's just a great experience like everything that I'm doing right now in my life like you know from shoe reselling to social media marketing to documenting my process like I know everything that I'm doing in my life is just teaching me just, uh, teaching me lessons and, and teaching me skills that I know will last me an entire lifetime um, you know skills like you know being able to sell someone a shoe or being able to you know post something effectively to where people will actually want to buy a shoe. You know what I'm saying like just there's so many different things um, that go along with this whole shoe reselling process about you know supply and demand and understanding you know what makes a shoe hyped or understanding the whole culture of people and human beings about like you know what type of shoes do people like like what brands are becoming like so many different things like you know that are developing my skills as a person as a businessman as a motivator as a you know just you know as a hustler and stuff like that and as an entrepreneur like I'm just learning so much about um, selling in general and, and I think you know every single moment every single shoe that I, I sell every single shoe that I lose on every single shoe that I make money on you know I know that I'm learning and I'm, I'm growing as a person you know, through these experiences because I'm gaining, um, you know, information or knowledge that I didn't know in the past. I'm really, really happy I'm able to share this journey with you and I think I'm going to make this a new series. I may name it, you know, a reseller's journey or something else. I don't really know. I have to probably think of a name or something, but, um, I know I'm going to start, you know, documenting this a lot more because I, uh, because I feel like you guys are really, really interested in, in, in shoe reselling and stuff like that or just like the lessons that I learned from, you know, this whole process of selling shoes and stuff. So just thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions about shoe reselling or anything like that, hit me up on my Twitter at Matt Process or hit me up on my, um, on my Instagram at, at Our Process. You know, both of those are really, really good ways to connect with me. Um, and ask me any questions that you guys have at all. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and just keep loving the process. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.